Hello and welcome everyone to another tutorial episode on getting to Minmus. Yes, so we have Kimand and uh, Erdrin and Sidvin. Yes, so let's get this rocket off the ground. And one thing I would like to say before I even take off, this is one thing I'll do on my takeoffs that's different a little bit than some people. Some people will just put it at 100% and take off. And I find the takeoff to be uh, a little bit smoother when you take off from zero and slowly work your way up. And, you know, that's basically hitting spacebar and then just holding down shift. So, just like this. And, sure, that might burn just a little bit of fuel, but you are kind of ensuring that the takeoff is going to go very smoothly. Because when you have a very heavy load at the top of your rocket, what ends up happening is the rocket itself starts to wobble and shake, and the higher you end up getting, the more the rocket starts going crazy, and then your rocket just ends up falling apart and all the things break, yes. So I am going to end up getting up to 200 meters per second in this portion of the atmosphere. If you're watching my mouse right here to here, you know, right at that point. And that will be it. So it just decoupled the stage, the solid rocket boosters. So getting up to 200 and I'm just going to throttle down the engines and just kind of keep them, keep the speed at 200 meters a second. Now what this does is it helps you save a bit on fuel because what you're doing at the lower end of the atmosphere is there's a heavy amount of drag and you're not really doing anything by just pushing through it you're actually burning more fuel and you know wasting energy to get through an atmosphere that's so thick that it's slowing you down you're just you're you're burning too much fuel but once you get into this portion of the atmosphere like I just did uh, you can throttle back up again and you know you can kind of throttle your speed a little bit more if you want to but I generally don't permit it I just kind of don't care at this point so as you can see our first stage was decoupled of the solid rocket boosters so then here goes our second stage well I mean I guess you want to call it our sixth stage or whatever but these are strictly for getting us out of the atmosphere now some people want to know exactly what speed they need to be at in order to get out of the atmosphere and that speed is generally um, you know it really just depends to be honest you always want to tilt towards 90 by the way too that is your that's the way you want to tilt that's always the way you want to go now unless if you want to put it into like a reverse or retrograde orbit or whatever it's called I don't even know uh, but it's basically going the opposite way uh, you want to go towards 90 so you can see we are getting up into some space now I want to start leveling this off to the point where I'm not gaining any more altitude because now we're gonna go into here and you can see I hit 105 which we don't need to actually go that high we need to put we don't want to go out anymore we want to um, you know we don't want to go out we want to go around so you want to bring that down to right here you know below and that will start rounding off your orbit instead of pushing you out further which, I mean, if you want to, I mean, you could probably do an escape trajectory straight from the launch pad, but I don't really know how efficient that would be. So, you can see we just ran out of fuel. And now we're going to use some of this, our orbital maneuvering stage and whatever else you want to call it. And I'm going to turn off and just not even use, not even do a burn right now. And I'm going to start getting closer. I'm going to speed up time and get a little bit closer to our aproapsis. I have such a problem saying that. I'm sure everyone kind of laughs about it. But yes, aproapsis. And then start doing our burn right here. And the reason is, is we are going 
somewhat fast for the orbit that we're at and you really don't need to go above you know, if you're burning right here let's say you don't really need to go anywhere above okay. um, you don't really need to go anywhere above uh, you know let's say 2000 or so when you're like right here you're better to do that kind of a burn right at your apoapsis because then you'll round off your orbit a little bit better it will be faster and you know all that good stuff so you know you were losing a little bit of altitude right now but it's nothing to be too worried about our orbit is about to round itself off here in a second so let's see there we go now I don't really need to do much with this at all um, just bring it up to 65 whatever 70 you know bring it up to like 70 there we go that's perfect so now um, I'm going to set up my minimus burn and the first thing I need to do is set it as a target now you can see that comes up with all these lines and all this good stuff and then we have our ascending and descending nodes so what we need to do is correct our node because if we were to just do our burn right now we would miss but this is the coolest part and I do have to say if you get lucky and min miss is like right here and you set up your burn on you know the dark side or whatever you will be able to bypass having to do your ascending and descending node that whole process because it the orbit itself is basically at zero at this point so if you can hit it anywhere around this point you will have you can completely bypass your ascending and descending nodes so that's one really good tip that works out for me especially on some of my moon base launch stuff um, I actually waited for some of those just so um, I didn't have to burn more fuel because fuel at some point is always kind of a uh, issue for some people. So anyways, let's get this burn underway. You'll notice it says 32 seconds and I don't really know, don't really ever trust this because it's never really correct. I mean it is and it isn't. But you know, for the most part, um, if it says 32 seconds or 40 seconds or something like that and you know how big the engine is that you have uh, there's a good chance it could be wrong I mean there always is some amount of error involved with that but I do believe that this burn I should start it like right now otherwise I shouldn't now you always want to set up these burns about halfway through whatever the time is so if it says 30 seconds, you want to start your burn at 15 seconds. The reason for that is, um, it basically, the way that the orbital mechanics work and stuff like that, it, it, it's really technical. And, you know, if you're a newer player, I, I don't really want to get too much into, you know, describing why it does what it does. But it, it has to do a lot with your burn time and... The amount of time needed and a few other things so it, you always want to just basically oh wow yeah all right certain so, past it so let's i'm gonna use rcs just to fix that rcs is a good tool to help you fix um your little mistakes your little 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 mistakes so just burn RCS here for a second. We got plenty of RCS fuel to go around. So, all right, right there. Look at that. That's that's like an absolute perfect. So, now we need to set up our burn and Dauge. I said silencio to you. How many times do I need to say it? Now we need to set up our burn and well yeah now some of you guys might notice that this appears and this appears this is if I were to move this you know uh, let's see here we go that that is the where Minmus is and that where is where you will be at that specific time so we need to bring those together you know to set up a perfect 
Doge, why must you? Why must you, Doge? I, I, I still don't understand. I don't. Now, we need to set up our burn and get this thing on, on its way. And, you know, setting up a burn to min miss isn't as hard as a lot of people make it out to be. And getting to min miss isn't as hard as a lot of people will make it out to be. So you can see I just had an encounter set up right there. So let's see what this is. Be 2 million off of min miss, which I don't like that at all. So we'll speed this up a little bit. Let's see what this gives us. I want to be as close as we possibly can. And that looks really good. I'll give it a little bit more. I guess that wasn't... Um, wasn't bring it down just a little bit more that that right there is actually pretty good I mean five thousand uh, yeah five hundred thousand off is actually very good so you can see our burn is going to Dalgay okay. you are so so bad today Dalgay okay. you know our burn is going to be uh, you know it says about two minutes I don't know how accurate that is but once again it says two minutes, so I'm going to just kind of go with that for now. So let's, uh, we need to get this down to about half, so I'm going to start the burn at, that's going to be 50 seconds, roughly. Start it at 50, I'm going to probably, I'm going to start it at one minute, just to be, uh, 100% sure. So, I, you know, this could be wrong which it always flawlessly is, like I just said. You know, luckily I started it at one minute. So, okay, let's get this thing. Let's get this thing in there already, come on. I'm walking here. So yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff has been going on. I, sorry that, uh, you know, if you got, some of you guys that have been tuned in and stuff like that to my channel, you know, you're subscribed or whatever, um, I'm sorry that there hasn't been that many Kerbal episodes lately. Uh, I kind of ran out of time when it came down to the Kerbal episodes, um, you know, last weekend as far as recording and everything else, and I kind of ended up recording a few, you know, the Minecraft and everything else, and I hope you guys are, you know, I'm kind of changing things up a little bit. I'm still... Dauge, can you please stop it, Dauge? Um... You know, I've been changing a few things here and there, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'm figuring out, uh, the video editor a little bit better, uh, you know, a lot of things I'm figuring out a little bit better than, you know, what I've been accustomed to and what I've been doing, um, and I just ended my burn there by accident, too, I don't know why I just did that, but it's not, it shouldn't be that much of a deal, I just have to watch it a little bit more, so... Anyways, let's see here. Uh, you know, our once we get past the moon, uh, there shouldn't be much time left. And I'm going to call it once we get into orbit around the moon, just so I can cover landing. Alright. Not too much more. There we go. Alright, bring this down as much as we can you can see it's just you know I'm not even I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use RCS for the rest of this you know because if I mess up it'll be easier so you know you just lightly I'm lightly tapping RCS right now you know you can hear the click just that's how much of a difference one tap is making so just give it a little tap just a tap 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 a -roo. uh Okay, so there we go. This is absolutely perfect right here. If you look, it's an 80, 80 meters. That's really good. So now we are going to just do our time warp like I normally do and end up destroying the mission with our time warp. But you can see 80, 80 kilometers is a very good altitude for landing, especially on min -miss. Uh, you won't have to do very much correction as far as, you know, your 
periapsis and aproapsis, you, you won't have to do very much correction at all. That is if you want to get into an orbit. So, we are getting close to Minmus. And we are not... We are not at such of a great speed to where stopping is going to require burning lots and lots of fuel. Like I said, the Poodle engine that I'm using, uh, it has way more power than what is needed even to get into orbit. And, and that's just what I think, to be honest. But I, I usually throw this engine on just about every one of my designs because it's all around just a really good engine for multiple purposes, even docking. So, we're going to do our burn, and we just want to bring this around until, you know, it makes the full connection. Uh, let's see here, come on, let's go. And you'll see, one thing that's also relative to is your burn will also start to normalize your orbit around uh, minutes, so it, everything also, everything, you know, really just changes a little bit so you can see that is very far out but you can see this is I'm not even running the engine at full throttle and that's how far doggy you are just awful today I uh, just stop it silencio please now you can see I'm just bringing it down very slowly a defiant doggy that's how he always has been so uh yeah you can pretty see we brought it down and that's a relatively good orbit uh there's really nothing i would really change on this other than you know the inclination's a little off but that's not really a big problem but uh yeah so anyways we have made the long long voyage from Kerbin, and we've made it to minmus and we still got all the fuel that we could ever need so anyways guys, if you haven't already, um, you know, subscribe, you know, check out my other videos, stuff like that, uh, you know, check out my Facebook and my Twitter, I always post my latest Kerbal updates and all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.